This video is called Admiring the Game and Ending the Blame. So I have had some very interesting sessions since I released the video called Our Divine Blueprint. And on Vimeo, Galactic Astrology, if you go to uh, Our Divine Blueprint, you can kind of get that information and the video before that and my blogs at galacticshamanastrologers.net. So where we are now is the Venus-Mars-Vesta conjunction in Capricorn, which is reviewing our structures, our sacred structures. And I made a quick live video, <laughs> very quick this week for my Australian clients, there's phenomenal things happening because since the conclusion of the Venus retrograde cycle and her forward movement, all planets are direct. Now, all planets and all the significant asteroids are direct now. So, wow, massive changes and our sun has been very active and solar wind coming here through Vermont and yesterday I was looking up at the sky and the clouds, not aerosols, but truly the clouds were reflecting rainbow prisms, like pastel rainbow prisms from the sun and it wasn't chemtrail stuff, it was beautiful um, changes that are happening here on earth. And it is the big mass awakening of humanity and it is also the return of the Christic Spiral. So in 2022, it was known that the Christic Spiral and these codes and the Stargates would be open so that humanity could bring back its original divine blueprint. The DNA is activating right now. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the sessions that I've had since my last video because I'm finding again, amazing things with people who have been told things from the wrong geometry, and then that geometry makes an imprint in their template that is false, and that template then is corded into their energetic field, and then that actually comes to fruition. So one client that I had spoke about that she, a long email, you know, and this is her private information, but this is typical of what I hear, long email of what some astrologer told her many years ago, and then a psychic told her the same thing, and then a channeler, she got, you know, a regression or something, told her the same thing, and when I look at the chart, I say, I don't see that at all. That, no, that's not even relevant in your chart. And it was corded in by an astrologer who was reading the chart wrong, okay? Not with correct ancient interpretations of the planetary uh, uh, truths, the traditional truths of what the planets are. And so it got corded into her energetic body so that a psychic read it and then somebody else read it and somebody else read it. And you see how powerful geometry is. And I've had this with very close friends of mine who, you know, they thought all of their planets were in the eighth house. So they were told by an astrologer from the Placidus intercepted house system that they had a number of their planets and they were going to encounter death and debt and mortgages and problems with their inheritance and also problems with their sexuality. Well, Folks, once you put that whole system into whole signs, my de very dear friend, who I've spoken about this before, she was like, what do you mean? I incurred all this debt. I have these mortgage problems. I can't get out from under the weight of taxation and so forth. Well, <laughs> as soon as I change it, She's like, you're kidding. That's not even true. And I said, no, all of those planets are in the ninth house of God. Those planets are in, you know, your metaphysical reality. And then things started to change for her. And we were together actually during the solar activation cycle. Um, and we were 
in Scotland together doing some incredible work at that time. And it changed. And now she's really changed. She doesn't have that debt. She has her own business. She's not under the weight of inheritance problems. So I'm telling you folks, if the geometry is wrong, you are messing with the energetics of your body. And I can't explain that exactly, but somehow it gets corded in. So again, I'm going to ask you to watch the Voyager's videos, particularly Beast Anatomy, The Fall of Metatron, Real Bible Stories, and Earth Origins or, or, or Earth History, which I just posted on my Facebook yesterday. And I want to talk a little bit about neuro-linguistics that happened with the Babylon Massacre, because that's always been really primary in me. Like, I knew something really significant happened in Babylon. And sure enough, in this book, Voyager's The Secret, The Secret of Amente, it tells about Babylon. And boy, I was like, that's it. That's what happened. So, and, you know, they're trying the same thing now with the neuro-linguistics and Cytronics and Voice of God technology. And I'm glad that I didn't read the Voyagers when it came out in like 1998 and 1999, because my experience has been the same as she's saying, basically that the whole New Age movement was hijacked, that many of these people are Anunnaki who like tell you sweet saccharine stories and then put up like the wrong, the wrong false ascension uh, geometries and, and it keeps you in this harvesting, harvesting system. I've been to those ascension retreats where they were projecting the wrong geometry. So I had to pull all that stuff out of me, okay? <laughs> it's amazing how amazing also that just now humanity is starting to say, oh, you know, these technocrats, they've been planning this since 2014 and we watched James Giordano's presentation at West Point about nanotechnology and neuroscience. And I'm going, folks, <laughs> they've been planning this since 550 million years ago. So I also find like it's really necessary with these planets in Capricorn to know your true Earth history. Like these high technologists, they changed our whole solar system, which is the magnetics and they tried to align the earth to Nibiru. Um, and that's, that stuff is still going on. I still see people in the new age talking about the alignment to N Nibiru, which would cause a pole shift. I'm like, stop people. Oh my gosh, we're supposed to be aligned to Alcyon. So very interesting. Um, and I also wanted to show you a chart just so you can see a chart that is hand drawn by me and anyone who does my videos at galacticshamanastrologers.net should be hand drawing because even if you put the um, whole signs application in the house system on a computer, they're gonna have geometries drawn, drawn outside of whole signs, which I explained very carefully in um, the video. So, this client gave me permission. We did her chart session yesterday, and she had really interesting questions. She, she her English is not her first language, so just even speaking astrology was like another language. But what was interesting is when I'm speaking and she's looking at the chart, the geometry speaks for itself. That's how important geometry is. So I want to show you geometries and whole signs. Some of the major geometries are in this chart. And this client was very dear to allow me to show you. So the big red one on the outside is Uranus, opposition Chiron, square her nodes, the north node and the south node. And when she saw that geometry and that the moon is on the south node, she understood just by looking at the geometry. So she understood like the pressure cooker, the intense feeling that she has and that she's been working with women and healing um, the, the womb, basically. Her entire mission is about that with that being 
a square. And then she also clearly understood, again, even though English is not her first language, she could see the Grand Trine in air and where they connect at the South Node. And everything about her healing experience has been that the women's line, okay? And then she could see the sex tiles of what's called the Grand Trine Kite to Neptune in Sagittarius as a truth teller and also the mystic of her family because it's in home and family. So I'm just showing you a little bit about how important astrology is. And then if we turn slightly this way, um, because this is the 12 petal lotus design, right? The 12 different houses that I showed you in the last. And this is a breathing geometry. Earth is in the center. She also has the triple goddess. Okay, so she has Eris, the goddess of discord, Venus in exaltation, and Black Moon Lilith in Libra, who is balancing the masculine and feminine. And when she saw that, she understood very clearly how important that was. And I showed her the geometry in triplicity. Because the other thing about the correct geometries is they're not biveca. They're triveca. They're all based on the triplicity. Okay? So here she has Black Moon Lilith, Eris, Venus making the triveca. And another client of mine who I met with this week, after watching the videos, sent me this emerald24.org. And emerald24.org has got all the correct geometries, and you can actually watch the Christic spiral in motion with the correct um, Tree of Life template. And when you watch it, you can breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out with that and that and um, the fire codes that I received um, from a video from the Dance of Love series that Ashayana Dean was um, transmitting. The fire codes, oh my gosh, that, that is just going crazy in my body. So I'm going through a massive shift right now. I also want to speak about um, Babel. And what I've learned, because I've shared a lot about Babel and Babylon. <laughs> so now, just play with this, that Babylon was Babel hyphen on. And the Tower of Babel was a Citronic that wiped everybody's mind. And when it wiped everybody's mind, we lost our language that was based on sound that activated these beautiful lotus temples within our heart. And that was how they cut the DNA. Because the sound that we used to all speak activated the DNA. This is simple neuro-linguistic programming. But what happened at that time, and I had this complete realization actually when I was on the big island in Hawaii, and I was visiting this ancient land, and whether it was Hawaii or when I was with Ulakai Brendan Murray in um, the ancient lands of Australia, I was told about 5,000 years ago that interdimensionals came, so this is Babylon, and they came to each section of Earth, and they gave us a new language that separated us from everyone else, and they also wiped our minds clean so that we could not remember who we are. And then if you read the real story of Earth, Earth origins on Voyagers, they actually had dematerialization of our beautiful structures, our cultural buildings and our temples and so forth because they wanted to wipe the slate clean. Now, if this seems weird to you, just look at what's going on right now. What's going on right now is a mass broadcasting with neuro-linguistics that puts you into your limbic brain of fight or flight, fear, freeze, okay? And they're reprogramming 
such that if I go into town without my um, uh, harness on, someone will, you know, I actually had this experience of someone pointing the finger at me and screaming, why are you not wearing the device? You're so inconsiderate. And I'm going, oh my God, like, that's like, there are Cytronics being played right now, not just on the radio, not just on the TV, not just in the newspaper, but there are sound waves coming through and programming people's mind, just like Babel. And I've had friends and clients from Vermont say, are they using Cytronics? Like, what is going on that people are like fist fighting at the supermarket? Um, you know, Claude... What has had some really interesting things happen with people ready to kill each other over a piece of something across your face? I'm going, wow, folks, this is Cytronics. And that is how masterful these technological elites are. They are able to move solar systems and cause the earth to wobble and realign and so forth. That is how powerful geometry is. Um, and so if you can see this in what's happening now or what I've explained in chart sessions, you get coded really easy if you have the wrong geometry. So I mean, me personally, because I read this book like water because it was all my own experience, I want to suggest to you that you see if your DNA is activated enough to read this book and understand this information and make some changes in your life. So in terms of the Cytronics, I also had a session with an advanced quantum practitioner and she had some concerns because the person that is holding those new age ceremonies of becoming supernatural I've spoken about this person before, so you, you probably know I've even written blogs about this person who does not believe in astrology. But during the seminars, like this beautiful music is played with the wrong geometry. And there's like this saccharine suite, like everybody's included in this healing and I'm going to allow you to take these meditations and visualizations and you're going to heal your body and so forth. And I, I questioned and I really listened and I said, well, you know, does this person not take a stand anywhere? Is, is, do they not take a stand on the issues like I raised in the last video? Um, oh, no, no, never, never want to like upset or trigger anybody because the more the better, the more the better. So he keeps it really sweet. And I'm like, folks, that's Anunnaki. That's New Age Anunnaki right there. <laughs> you listen to Ashayana Dean, and I've had the same experience. It's almost like a hypnos hypnotized experience of crying and just all this like emotion. You know what that is? That's harvesting, folks. That's harvesting. So pay attention. Anyone who's not willing to take a stand on something and just keeps it all very saccharine and tells you you're going to be supernatural, just listen to this music, do this meditation, and light up your crown chakra and all that. That concerns me. It really does, particularly if they're playing with the wrong geometries because that's cording into your body. And then you come back for more. Oh, and you come back for more, and you come back for more, and you do another retreat, and you do another retreat, and you do another retreat, and now you're a... What, wow, folks, and how many thousands of dollars did that cost you? Ooh, pay attention, okay? So I don't want to go into that so much, but I have looked at that person again and again and tried to read their books and go, something is wrong here. That is an example of an Anunnaki who has healing powers, who keeps it all very sweet, and is part of the false light program. So speaking of the false light program, in the last video, I talked about the, um, the extraterrestrials who would like to get rid of humans by grabbing about 50,000 uh, 50, of us. And I'm going to name it out loud. Okay. So people who think that 
Ashtar's command and the Galactic Federation are the good guys, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. Because when I was in that false ascension stuff and, and I went to Thang on Mount Shasta and I watched the fellow <clears throat> give the whole teaching about Ashtar's command and, and so forth. And he had a real misogynistic like disagreement with a man from South America who was the real deal. You could feel the Christos in him. And they, the, the guy who was explaining his experiences and this guy who was like 100% Ashtar's command, first contact stuff, false ascension stuff, you could feel it, okay? You could feel it. And the, the, the one person feel people from South America, he didn't even speak English. And I could feel the purity of who he was. Claude and I were onto it immediately, okay? And it was supposed to be like, um, you know, a first contact type, type of thing. No contact ever happened except when Claude and I took a private walk with the man from South America. On video and everything, a beautiful golden orange ship was in the sky and made telepathic communication with us and stayed with us for a very long time. The whole rest of the group saw nothing. No matter what we did, no matter what, you know, it was the Egyptian New Year, like July 26 or something out on Mount Shasta. And I also personally had some very interesting personal experiences that happened at night that I've shared with some of my clients that I will never forget and nobody else saw anything, folks. And it really has to do with that geometry and that coding. So it's important to figure whether you and one of my clients also said that her mother from the beginning took down her birth time and created incorrect charts from the time of her birth. And this client can never seem to get going. And I'm like, well, maybe we really need to work on correcting your geometries. And again, she thinks that she has Mars and Saturn in the eighth house. And I said, my dear, your Mars in Leo of the noble warrior with the big heart is in the ninth house of God. So, I mean, can you imagine that shift? Just realizing that, that's how important the geometries are. Um, and I guess the other thing I want to say is someone has asked me, like, why are people so uh, attached to these fallen angelic finite geometries that keep us reincarnating? And the thing I have to say at this point is possibly because that is their creator God and they can't, they cannot step away from that. So there is information um, about some of these beings are guaranteed space dust return. They're guaranteed fa phantom matrix because this is the last time. This is what I want to emphasize to you. This is the last time Earth is doing this harmonic. So we're either going to do this bridge project to Tara or you're going to go into Phantom and Phantom is Space Dust Return where people will have that kind of 3.5 DNA strand um, and will keep reincarnating in Phantom until they use cloning techniques because the other techniques don't work anymore at 3.5. Even reproduction doesn't work. Whereas the others of us are going onto this original divine blueprint, and that is happening right now. So that Christic spiral change is happening right now. And yeah, the stargates are open, the sun is active, um, the prism has changed here on Earth. And so I, I don't know. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, there's still momentum one way or another. But for anyone where it's like business as usual, going to stick with this old system, I don't know, folks. So that's what I have to say to you. And um, in my live video, I did say, you know, the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, uh, an attorney, has given information over to um, the police headquarters with video footage of his um, apparent... Uh, 
involvement in child trafficking. And I said that this period with Venus and Mars moving together towards Pluto at 27 degrees Capricorn, all of that stuff has got to go too. So let it go. And on a final note, the reason that we have to let it go now and stop doing this again and again, we've been doing this a minimum of 550 million years. And, and it's like Ashiana said so beautifully in the video that I posted yesterday about our real earth history. It's like having a child who has the wrong coding, who is trying to blow up your house and assassinate the neighbors. At this point, those beings, they need to go to Phantom or they need the space dust return because at this point, those beings, they are coded in such a way for destruction, for that malevolent tendency. So I have completely wiped all this like blaming stuff um, from me because I also, I just realized that that is how they're coded and it's time to move on. It's not like I'm going to continue to allow myself or my children to be abducted. It's gone on long enough. All right. So I hope this video helps and the geometry is very important. If you need a new chart reading and you're still reading your chart in the intercepted Placidus house system, please get that chart reading. And I do want to say that I know where the fixed stars are. I know that, for instance, the Leo constellation does not come in until about April 13th and goes all the way through. Um, really, Leo goes all the way into the seasonal construct of Virgo. So I'm also not like blind, obviously, to the procession of the stars. But I hold the seasonal construct of the signs because you look outside here in Vermont, it's still Aquarius, okay, <laughs> the long winter. So I hold that and I know where the fixed stars are, okay? So I will make sure that you understand the fixed stars and the seasonal signs. Okay, bye-bye for now.